so today we would like to understand this topic in a very simple manner by selecting some random examples say for example i am just giving you some examples like uh, iron solid plus h2o h2o liquid gives rise to fe2o3 fe2o3 solid plus uh, h2 gas say how do you balance this uh, equation that is i am underlining here here also i am underlining and here also i am underlining so what we can do here is like uh, here we can see that the number of hydrogens are 2 and uh, here the number of hydrogens are 2 uh, and here the number of hydrogens are 2 number of oxygens are 3 here we have only one oxygen so the first thing what i am going to do is i am going to mark 3 i am going to place a molar coefficient 3 besides water this 3 is not only balancing the number of oxygens it is also balancing the number of hydrogens so here by marking 3 as a molar coefficient beside water you are increasing the number of hydrogens from 2 to 6 but here we have only two hydrogen so mark three here as a molar coefficient so what you are noticing here that means as of now the number of hydrogens are balanced three to the six hydrogens and three to the six hydrogens three oxygens and three three oxygens we have two ions but you have only one iron so therefore this is how the ions are getting balanced and the entire reaction is getting balanced take one more example that is take one more example that is this is the first one go for a second one Suppose I am taking C6, H6, uh, benzene that is liquid plus oxygen gas gives rise to, gives rise to uh, that is carbon dioxide gas plus water, plus water liquid. So here what I can do is just as how we have done in the earlier cases, I am marking here as one unknown molar coefficient, unknown molar coefficient, unknown molar coefficient and unknown molar coefficient. In the above reaction, in the above reaction for irons already they are balanced so one you place it here that the reaction is going to get balanced no problem that is already balanced. Now if you go to the second part of the reaction that is here you are finding that there are in, in benzene of course this is benzene, this is benzene. In this benzene we have 6 carbons, here we have only 1 carbon. Because there are 6 carbons, I am going to place the molar coefficient 6 besides carbon dioxide. Thereby, here you are finding that the number of hydrogens are uh, 6, but here we have only 2 hydrogens. So, that is why mark 3 here, the number of hydrogens are balanced. And here you have 3 oxygens and here we have 6 to 12 oxygens. 6 to 12 oxygens plus 3 oxygens total 15 oxygens are there and here we have 2 oxygens either you can take 7.5 either you can take 7.5 moles or the 7.5 you can write it as 15 by 2 if you multiply the oxygen with 15 by 2 moles then this 15 by 2 is nothing but 7.5 7.5 into 2 is again nothing but 15 oxygens so therefore here you are finding that the number of carbons are balanced number of carbons 6 carbons number of hydrogens 6 hydrogens 6 to 12 plus 3 15 oxygens oxygens are balanced everything is balanced so once one mole of benzene so mark it here as one the reaction is going to get balanced this is one kind of a reaction where you can easily understand how the chemical reaction is getting balanced look at this go for the next part of the reaction suppose sometimes a situation arises like this ammonia ammonia gas plus chlorine this is ammonia is in excess it gives ammonium chloride ammonium chloride solid plus nitrogen gas what if what if uh, you are taking how to balance the equation so to express the molar coefficient mark here one molar coefficient mark here one molar coefficient here you mark a molar coefficient and here also you mark a molar coefficient so what you are noticing here is suppose because we have because already is here one nitrogen and one nitrogen one nitrogen one nitrogen three hydrogens four hydrogens we have two chlorines 
one chlorine. We have total number of nitrogens three are there. We have total number of nitrogens three are there. Four is the even number. Four hydrogens are the even number because already nitrogens are uh, three. So you, there is no use of placing uh, four here. Uh, four means I am doubling the four with eight. Suppose if I am taking eight moles of ammonia, say for example, hit and trial. If there is no concept involved in the balancing of complex reactions, you have to use uh, hit and trial. That is guess method. The guess should be so quick that you have to check the number of hydrogens on the product side and number of nitrogens on the on the product side. Number of hydrogens are four. Four is even. Number of nitrogens are three. Three is odd. But four, if you mark it as four, you could be you could not be balancing either nitrogens or hydrogens. That's why better you go for higher even number. The higher even number is eight. If it is eight, then you have eight nitrogens and twenty-four uh, hydrogens. Eight nitrogens and twenty-four hydrogens. So eight nitrogens means what I'm going to do here is I think I can take over here because twenty-four hydrogens means you have four. So I'm marking here six. By marking six, you are not only balancing the number of hydrogens, you are not only balancing the number of uh hydrogens are also balancing the number of nitrogens only thing is that you have to balance the number of chlorines so mark it here as 3 this is one way of balancing the chemical equation so this is one of the typical examples so likewise one more last example i would like to give you one more last example suppose for example you are taking a uh, say for example you are taking zinc solid reacts with h2 so4 aqueous concentrated giving rise to zinc sulfate aqueous plus sulfur dioxide gas plus h2o liquid so you have to balance this equation if you want to balance this equation underline the molar coefficient underline the molar coefficient underline the molar coefficient molar coefficient and molar coefficient so what we can do here is like uh, we have two sulfurs are there first thing is i am guessing with two sulfurs suppose if i am taking two over here by chance if i am taking two over here the number of oxygens are eight we have two sulfurs and number of hydrogens are four so blindly suppose if i am going to place two here yes number of hydrogens are balanced two two are four hydrogens are balanced then two sulfurs are already balanced then we have two four za eight oxygens yes four oxygens plus four oxygens plus two oxygens plus two oxygens yes eight oxygens balanced and one zinc solid is balanced so therefore i'm going to mark it as one as a molar coefficient so we can easily balance the given chemical equations or chemical reactions by using little bit of common sense little bit of awareness in the reaction little bit of awareness of different groups which are involved in the chemical reaction little bit of practice can make you to balance any type of given chemical equation in your own terms as a, as of such when you are balancing the chemical equation there is no there is no need for you for us to use any particular method it's better always use the hit and trial method and always maintain the time management when you are trying to balance the given chemical equation so here because it is zinc is only one mole one zinc atom is there so here i am going to take one so the entire reaction is balanced if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus